Yo, what's up guys? In this quick tutorial, I will teach you how to make this really cool looking grid effect in After Effects. And yeah, as you can see, it is glowing a bit, it's moving, it's three-dimensional, and it even has this little yeah, cloudy or smoke effect on the bottom, if you can see this. And yeah, it's super simple, so I'd say let's just go right into it. So let's make a new composition. And first of all, let's right click in here and go to new and let's add a new solid for the background. And I'll just use a yeah, dark blue color, just like this. And now we can just press this um, solid and press Ctrl D on the keyboard to duplicate this. And yeah, now apply a grid effect to it. It's right on in general and yeah, it's just named grid. And yeah, let's just apply this and as you can see, yeah, it's good looking, but yeah, it's two dimensional and yeah, we have to change a few things. So let's first of all um, press R on the keyboard for rotation and make sure to go to these settings here. And if yeah, there are two modes, so this mode and this mode, let's make sure we have uh, this mode selected where these three settings are. And let's check the cube box, which is the yeah, box for three dimensions basically and now we can rotate this and you can see it gets three dimensional and yeah let's just give it a value something like yeah like this should look cool and yeah but now we can see yeah it's just this one plane and nothing else and we want it to be in the whole room so let's add one more effect which is the motion tile effect and yeah we can just apply this on our layer and now if we play around with the output, we can see it, yeah, it will yeah, increase the output basically on left, right, up and lower sides. So just yeah, give it a higher value until you think this is enough. And yeah, this is cool. Maybe let's increase the border a little bit on the grid setting. So it gets a bit thicker. And yeah, now we can also apply a glow effect. So just type in type a glow and apply this and here we can play around with a few settings again and just give it a nice little glow and maybe turn on the opacity a bit so it's not too strong just something like this i think looks cool and yeah maybe let's also move this a bit even more yeah this this looks really cool and yeah now we can also make this little smoke effect that you have seen in here. Maybe you notice it, but it's just like white with the grid, a little bit of yeah, cloudy and smoke effect. So let's do this real quick. So let's duplicate the grid layer again by pressing yeah, Ctrl D. But this time, of course, let's remove the grid and also remove the glow. And now we can see nothing, but this will change real quick. So let's just add a a noise, uh, what's it called, a uh, fractal noise effect, just like this. And yeah, now we can press T on the keyboard and bring down the opacity so it's not that strong to something like five or 10 or in between, let's go for seven. And you can also keyframe the evolution. So yeah, it will just move a bit on the ground as you can see. And this looks really cool. I think this is a really cool extra to the to the glow. And yeah, we also want this to yeah disappear more smoothly at the end. So like we can see, it just vanishes basically. And yeah, this looks more mysterious than this yeah just cut off end. So let's make a new solid again, and let's just keep the this exact color. And yeah, now let's select the pen tool and just mask this out. And this will be the part that we will yeah, not see later. So here the grid will end, but on a more smooth way. And we can achieve this by just opening this up and opening up the mask settings and increase the mask feather. So now we can see, yeah, this will fade really, yeah, really good away. And let's make sure everything is covered. So the sharp edge is completely gone and yeah, now we have this amazing effect. And of course we can also animate the grid and the and the um, 
smoke layer. So we can just press P on the keyboard for position. And let's just, yeah, move this to the right, not on this. Uh, let's, no, no. Let's remove the keyframe and go to the beginning, put in the keyframe in here, and then just go to the end. And let's bring this to the right. But let's put in the same value in both layers. So I'll just type in plus 500 in here. And yeah, let's do this for this as well. Let's press P on the keyboard, put in the keyframe at the beginning, go to the end, and let's also put in plus 500 in here. So they are in sync. And yeah, okay, this is a bit fast, but I think this looks good. And yeah, this is already it. Thanks for watching. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed with this one. I think this one looks a bit better. Maybe it's because uh, we made this too wide. Yeah, maybe this is better. But yeah, you can just play around with a few settings like the glow and the opacities of each layer. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.